Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Donovan and today I'm excited to share with you my thoughts on this watch right here. This is the Amazfit Verge. I've actually been wearing it now for three days. It's a watch that I was very excited to get my hands on and I was finally able to do that thanks to the folks over at Banggood.com. So as you can see right down here, it's available from Banggood.com in three different colors. They had that navy blue that was just showing, the gray version which is almost like a charcoal or black version, and then also the white version that you can see that I have. So it's available Available right now on their website, like I said, for $160. So I'll leave a link down in the description if you're interested in checking it out. So this is a follow-up, or I'm not really exactly sure what you would call this, um, but this is another watch from Amazfit. This is the Amazfit Strata. As you can see, they are very different. Um, this one obviously being much larger, uh, built of, I would say, slightly more premium materials. This one I would say is probably more for the average runner um, and uh, maybe the average person working out. Um, but there are definitely some major differences. If you you're interested in checking out a video where I compare these two definitely stay tuned to the channel because I will be comparing up these two watches for certain in the near future now I'm also going to be doing some comparisons of the Amazfit Verge with this watch right here this is the Huawei watch or this is actually the Honor Magic watch which is very similar to the Huawei watch GT um, so I'll be doing some comparisons with that watch these are very similar watches in a lot of ways um, the major differences being here that uh, this one uh, has music can capabilities whereas this one uh, has water capabilities so you can actually swim with this one whereas this one is IP68 water resistant um, but doesn't support swim tracking and then another watch that I recently reviewed the TicWatch E2 so these are also very similar watches in a lot of ways but this one is a Wear OS watch so a lot more apps available on that one so this one is definitely more fitness focused um, and I think it does a fantastic job of what it's meant to do so let's go ahead and just kind of run through the watch real quick quick. Um, first of all, I guess we should look around it. So we have some quick release bands, as you can see there. This is where it's going to charge up. It uses this specific charging cradle that is not, uh, you can't be used by any other Amazfit watch. Um, so obviously the Amazfit Stratus won't fit in because of the fact that it has some major buttons there that would get in the way. Also, they're different size watches as well. Some other major differences between this and the Amazfit Stratus. This one has a microphone right over here and a speaker, which means that you can use this for phone calls. So Bluetooth phone calls uh, paired up with your phone, you can use it. However, let me just mention that as you can see, I have it connected right now to my iPhone 10s Max. It will not work. That function does not work with iPhones. Everything else works with an iPhone, uh, but not that function. The Bluetooth phone calling does not work on this watch when connected to an iPhone. However, I did have it previously connected to my Google Pixel 3 XL first, and it does work just fine there. So uh, if you want some uh, phone calls on it, you're going to have to use it with an Android uh, phone. So just a heads up there. So we do have a speaker and a microphone, like I mentioned. We have just one single button. It says here, home. Um, so that's going to be your stop button when you're doing a workout. But then also, of course, it's the home button as well. Most things are going to be completely uh, touch featured. So if I scroll over to the right, you can say I can go into my apps and you can see that they're basically all fitness focused. We have uh, obviously music storage on here. Unfortunately, when I switched it over to my iPhone, I forgot to put my music back on, so I'll have to do that a little bit later today. Um, I had a whole bunch of music already stored on here, but when I switched from my uh, Android phone over to my iPhone, it had to reset, so I'll have to put that back on. Um, but yeah, so about uh, three gigs of storage available for music. Technically, this is a four gig device, but about three gigs is available for music. So, of course, we have a heart rate sensor. This is actually an upgraded heart rate sensor from what you get on the Stratus. While I did find that the Stratus had pretty good heart rate sensing, um, I definitely find that the Amazfit Verge is pretty much dead on, uh, especially when compared to my Apple Watch. I uh, wore them both simultaneously on my last run, um, and this one always had almost the exact same heart rate, usually one beat different uh, up or down uh, from my Apple Watch, which is to say it's very, very good. So this is our health app. This is basically just going to give us our health information for the day up to this point. Um, and we can scroll, I believe, right to left. Yeah. Um, and then we have our sports. This is where you're going to access all of your activities. And again, this one is not uh, for use for uh, swimming with, so just kind of a heads up there. And you can see 78% in GPS mode, so it says if we use it in GPS mode, we'll have 27 hours of battery life. And again, that's just GPS, that's not listening to music. Um, 
So we have running, we have walking, we have cycling here, we have running indoor, indoor cycling, elliptical runner, climbing, trail run, skiing, tennis, soccer, rope skipping. So those are the activities that it will track. We'll scroll out of there. We of course have our sleep tracking, music. Um, this is activity. So this is going to show you your previous activities. So I can go in and I can show you my most recent run. So yesterday I went for a 6.44 mile run and uh, it's going to give us, okay, so this is actually my history of running with this watch so just two times uh, like I said I've had it for three days so today's technically day three um, so we can go through here and you can see our total time uh, our pace for the run best pace overall um, average cadence max cadence all kinds of good information here uh, max speed altitude so altitude is definitely originally when I had the amazement shyness it was an issue but it's definitely been fixed, um, so that's no longer an issue. Uh, originally, the Amazfit Stratus just was off when it came to uh, the altitude tracking, but it's definitely uh, much better now. So heart rate, and you can see it also checks our heart rate zones, and you can have some graphs as well. So all this is also available on the phone app as well. Um, so we'll take a look at that in just a little bit. Um, so if you scroll to the left, you can see there it's a back. Basically, it's kind of like our back button um, scrolling to the left. Then we have our weather. And of course, you can get uh, degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. So by default, it's going to show you five days of forecast. We'll scroll out of there. We have alarm set up. We have a timer, stopwatch, compass, and then our settings. So we'll go ahead and go into the settings here. And we have some connections. So this is where we're going to connect it up with some Bluetooth uh, headphones, also our Wi-Fi. So if you want to connect it up to Wi-Fi, there it is. We have our common. So change our language, our time format, do not disturb in airplane mode, some volume adjustment. So again, this technically, if you have some music on it, you can play the music through the speaker. Obviously, uh, it's not a great speaker, but it works. Um, so, you know, it's really meant for phone calls, but you can play music through it as well. Um, we have our brightness control and vibration intensity. Uh, vibration intensity, I've had no problem with. It is actually very good. I wouldn't turn it on the low or the weak one because that one is pretty weak, but mid, I found to be just fine. I can definitely rec uh, recognize it every time it's actually doing it. So then we have some preferences here. So double tap to unlock. We have a lock screen. Wake up with a flip of the wrist and then appearance is just going to change our watch face. And then our wearing habit left or right. And then sport reminding that's going to tell us um, it will automatically pause um, or if we start running it'll say hey you're running do you want to start an activity. Um, so it does have automatic kind of recognition uh, that you're actually running or stopping as well. Um, then we have some data information here so we can go in here and we can manually synchronize or we can automatically synchronize which apparently I forgot to switch that back on. Um, so auto synchronize is what I would recommend um, and then we have some de device preferences, updates, laboratory, there's really nothing in there as of right now, opinion feedback and then some information. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the settings and that's pretty much it when it comes to the watch except one other thing which is our um, notification. So I'll go ahead and show you real quick. This is a text message just from DHL letting me know that I got a uh, a package coming from MPOW. So you can see there's really nothing you can do with it. It's just information. However, I will say that's actually better than what you get with the Huawei watch. So if I come up here into the Huawei watch and go into my notifications, so let's actually see if I can find that same one. I don't think it's actually coming to this one because this is actually a different um, so this is synced up to a different phone. So let's see if I can go in here. So this is for review. So basically all this one gives me about that particular uh, email is it's just going to tell me that they want me to review a two megapixel indoor camera. If I come in here, this will actually, I believe, if I remember right, this one will actually give me a little bit more information. So let's see if I can find that exact same email. So I'll click here and see how this one actually gives me information about it so I can keep going and it'll give me at least a little bit more information than just kind of the initial plus it also has the icon so it's nice you know that that's obviously a Gmail uh, thing so anyways uh, that is a quick look at the Amazfit Verge in terms of run tracking it is dead on heart rate tracking I already mentioned is dead on as well let's go into the app real quick so I can show you what that looks like um, so it's the same one you're going to use with the Amazfit Stratus also the Amazfit Pace and you can come up here this is where you're going to adjust anything you want on the watch so click on there so it's going to tell you the last time it was charged so a day and two hours ago you can see I'm at 77 percent battery now I haven't run with it uh, since the last time I charged it so something to keep in mind last time I ran with it was 
was yesterday at seven in the morning when I got back from my run, went ahead and charged it up because I was going to a concert the night uh, last night. And so I wanted to make sure it was fully charged. Um, so in that time, it's gone down 23%. So obviously, if you're not using it for running, um, it's going to get really good battery life. So probably about four to five days of battery life. However, as soon as you go for a run, especially if you're linked up with Bluetooth music. Um, so like I said, uh, both times I've run with it, I first time I used Bluetooth music, it was an 11.2 mile run and it went through 23% battery. So about 2% uh, per mile for me, which was about a seven minute pace or just under a seven minute pace for that 11 mile run. Um, so in that time, it went through 23% battery. Now on the day when I only used this for running and I didn't use it just for GPS tracking and not for music, at that time it only went for a six mile run or a 6.4 mile run, whatever it said. And uh, that time it only used, I believe it was 6% battery. Um, and again, that was just over seven minute pace for that one. So uh, in 42 minutes, about 6% battery. So battery life is definitely very good. It's not as good as the Amaze Fit Stratus, but still very good nonetheless. Um, and obviously a difference here being that when you're running, um, you'll have to flick up your wrist. So I'll go ahead and show you, uh, just so you can see what I'm talking about here. We're gonna go ahead and start a run and then I'll just cancel it as soon as we get in. Um, but obviously with this one, so it's going to, you know, get GPS, it'll warn you when you have GPS. And then here's the information it's going to show you. So we have our time, distance, pace, and then our heart rate. And then we slide over and you can adjust what these are in uh, the app, which I'll show you in just a little bit. So distance gain, cadence and calories, and then average pace. That's just what I've chosen for it to show me while I'm out on a run. Then we slide over here, we can pause and save it. Also, this button will uh, bring you to this menu as well. And we can adjust the volume and our brightness of our screen. Now let's say I'm in a run. So right now it's obviously tracking a run. Let's see if it will Looks like it's not actually going to shut off, but basically what I was going to say is as soon as you flip it up, just like with the Apple Watch, this is immediate. Um, it's immediately going to brighten up the screen, whereas with the Tick Watch 2, I found there was a slight delay. All right, so it's actually going to shut off, I think. Yep. Oh, uh, got to wait a second here. I want, for, I want it to shut off so that you can actually see how fast it will brighten up the screen. It's still on slightly. Okay, I guess it doesn't ever turn completely off, but as soon as you flick your wrist, you can see it kind of brightened up right away. Um, for some reason, I was thinking that it actually, so actually right now the screen's technically not on. So then we'll slide over, we'll pause it, then I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this one, obviously. Uh, I guess I have to save it and then I'll delete it later. <laughs> All right, uh, distance is too short. Are you sure you wanna stop? Yes, I'm sure. Good, don't save it. All right, cool. All right, so that is a quick look at the activity tracking. Now again, you can adjust that right here. So again, uh, you go into the AmazeFit Watch app and it's the same for both Android and iOS. Difference here being that there would actually, I forgot to show you this, um, but if you're using this with an Android phone, there's actually another uh, app here that would say phone on it. And so you can actually make phone calls from it. So that app is just totally missing if you're using it with an uh, iOS device like this iPhone. All right, so in order to get to the information I was just mentioning, so you click there, and then here's our Amazfit, Amazfit Verge. So if I want to change the app settings, uh, so what it shows me while I'm running, um, you can see here I can set up interval workouts, but right up here is the real-time sports data. So if I'm going into running, I can adjust which ones it's gonna show me. So the first four is what it's gonna show me on the watch. So if I want, like, let's say average pace instead of my regular pace, I just slide that up. If I can actually grab that and now it's going to show me that one instead of my pace. And of course I want heart rate as well. So we'll move that one up. If I can actually grab it, there we go. All right, so now those are the four they're gonna show. And if I slide over the next four will show um, on the next page. So that's how you're gonna adjust those and it automatically syncs it up to the watch. And you can do that with any activity as well. And again, there's in over workouts that you can set up there. We can adjust some weather settings here as well. That's basically just, you're telling it where to actually get the weather information from and then also whether you want it in Fahrenheit or Celsius and then it can send you uh, weather warnings and uh, daily reminders of what the weather is going to be like that day as well. We have some manage apps and widgets so you can turn some of these apps off so if you for some reason don't want one of these apps you can just click on it and it wouldn't be on the watch when you go over to your apps. And then we have some additional settings down here as well. This is just ROM updates and test notifications. I'm not going to do that. And that's where you're also going to unpair it, of course, as well. Um, so that's pretty much it on this page. We're going to go back. Oh, and obviously watch faces. I probably should have shown you that before. 
So if we go here, and if I hold down the watch face, I can change the watch face this way as well. You can get other watch faces on the internet, so I'll leave a link down into the description of an awesome website where you can get plenty of other watch faces if you're interested. Um, but you can see it comes basically with these 11. Um, and again, there are just a ton of them available online. You just plug it into your computer, drag and drop the watch face over, and uh, you can put on a bunch of them like... This one right here that I have on my Amazfit Strand. This is one I got from the website that I'll link down below as well. All right, so let's go on to this. And uh, you can see here we have our step counter. So it's going to give me that same information that I had over here with the help. And you can see it's going to track each little walk that you do. Um, so we'll go out of that. And we have our heart rate and sleep tracking. So yes, I did not sleep very well last night because I was out at that concert. And let's see if we go down here, there's an activity button. So this is going to show me that same activity that I showed you, um, that 6.44 mile run or whatever. And it's going to give me a map. It's also going to give me some details about it, some laps and some graphs. So a ton of good information. Again, very, very accurate. I've had no, no questions about the accuracy. So um, that's a huge plus uh, for this watch. Um, really, honestly, I just really like this watch. Um, if it doesn't already show, I'm a huge fan of this watch for sure. And then we go down here to profile and we can adjust the watch. So I can you know, switch it to my Amazfit Stratus if I wanted, but um, Amazfit Verge, Pace and Stratus are all available there. Um, let's see if there's anything else here. My status, this is just where you're going to put in like your height, weight, and all that. VO2 max, I guess that's on a different one. So we have our training load. Right now that's not going to work because I've only done two workouts, but it will give you your training load as well as your VO2 max. So mine's apparently 61. I like to get that up to like 70. That's where we're going to input our information. So our height, weight, uh, birthday, and all that stuff as well. Um, we already mentioned that watch one. Go here down into settings. We have our units notification settings. So this is where you're actually going to adjust which notifications come in. So you can actually choose which ones to block basically is what you're doing here. So these are the ones that I've allowed for some reason. I'm not sure why I have AliExpress as one of them that I'm allowing. That's kind of weird. Um, but those are the ones that apparently are coming through. Um, I actually didn't even adjust any of these. So this must be what I already had going to my... Uh, Amaze Fish. So I'm going to get rid of Mercari. I definitely don't need that one. Um, but anyways, that's where you can adjust the apps that are going to be coming over. And then also you can use it as a music controller. So what that's going to do is if I have that turned on and let's say I play some music from my phone. Let's go ahead and do that real quick so I can show you. Just saw these guys in concert last night. All right, so now that I have some music playing, I come down here and see now I have, when I scroll down into my notifications, I have some music control there. So I can go ahead and flip it to the next song. Let's see if that one actually would work. I can adjust the volume on my phone as well. There it goes. And I can click it to the next song. So there you go, there's some uh, controls there. So that's what that's gonna do. I um, mean, that does work on Android and iOS as well. Go back here into my notification settings and we have some feedback we're not worried about that oh and then units that is where we're going to um that's where we're going to adjust it to imperial or uh, metric units there so miles pounds kilograms centimeters feet in per inch and or feet and inches i mean uh, not feet per inch Okay, and then we have add accounts. This is basically where you're just going to add in your Strava account so it syncs automatically to Strava. That's pretty much all you can do there, and that's about it. So that is a real detailed look at the Amazfit Verge. I'm just going to say, honestly, I absolutely love this watch. Um, this would, for me, is a much more day-to-day uh, -day friendly watch than the Amazfit Stratus. The Amazfit Stratus, the benefits of this one, we'll talk more about when I do a, a full comparison of these two. Um, but the biggest benefit of this one is that it has the three buttons, so you can, rather than use the touch screen, uh, which is a little bit finicky. Um, you can use the buttons, which is fantastic, uh, especially when you're working out. It's a lot easier just to touch a button. And then also this one does a lot better job with intervals. Um, and then obviously it's got a trans-reflective display. So in very bright light, this one's going to work just fine. This one has a very vivid AMOLED display. So there's really no issue seeing this in broad daylight. Um, I forgot to mention these shortcuts here. So that's our setting shortcut. Um, then also our brightness shortcut, sound sor shortcut. Uh, that's airplane mode, night mode. And then over here, this is going to be to turn it off or reset set the watch so if I click on that one you can see it's going to give me those options to reboot or close the watch so that's pretty much it that is the Amazfit Verge fantastic watch check it out again at the 
bingo.com. Huge shout out to them to for sending it out to me for a review. It's available right now on their website for $160. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.